Hello, welcome to Cannonall Farm in the sunshine. Farmer Daryl here, and we've come for a little update. We've had a lot of births lately here at the farm, and one of those births is a little career to one of our female llamas. So we're gonna nip down into the park field. You can see him just behind my shoulder over there, lazing around and munching grass in the sun. So we're gonna go down and check up and make sure everything's all right. Follow me. So here we are guys down in the park field at a very sunny Cannonall farm and as you can see behind me uh, the llama family are enjoying this uh, really hot and warm September up to now. So we are hoping we'll get a few more uh, weeks of the summertime so that uh, the llama family and the new arrival can stop out. Obviously if the weather takes a turn for the worse, gets cooler, uh, lots of rain, gets damp and soggy, we'd bring them inside uh, and that's where they'll spend the winter months. But at the minute, glorious sunshine, lovely green grass and all the family enjoying themselves out in the wild basically. So everything's going well. Mum's been very protective and looking after it. Uh, we've seen it feeding loads. We think it's a little boy, pretty sure it's a boy. And it's having a little sit down as we speak. So we're, uh, we couldn't be up here, it's, uh, it's going well. It, it were born outside as well so we didn't feel any need to bring it inside and uh, and monitor it because we could see straight away that mum were being attentive and the little fellow were feeding and it's got the protection of the rest of the group as well it shares the field down here with some of our short horn herd as well having a dry september um, and and good weather like this which we don't always get in september is a good thing and having the little one outside has made it a more robust individual it means it's uh, a bit hardier than it would be if it had been born inside so Sometimes in the past we've ended up rearing them via a bottle and stuff, but everything is as it would be in the wild. Of course, they originate from South America, uh, a, a very early domesticated animals these. So us humans uh, are pretty familiar with these guys, one of the earliest domesticated animals on the planet. Uh, so they're pretty cool around us, as you can see. And uh, the little one, right up the fence line now, having a sit down, enjoying the sunshine. And we are hoping for a few more weeks of that. And uh, to be honest, it was a bit of a surprise when we found this, because with llamas and alpacas and the camelid family, you can't always tell, like you would be able to on a, say a cow or a pig, that they are pregnant. We've got a rough idea, uh, but it was one early morning. Uh, Farmer Dale came in very early, in fact, and he was getting pictures of the sunrise, as is his job. Uh, and he, he spotted the little fella out and about, up on its feet already, doing really well. And uh, because he'd had a bit of time off, he didn't even know if people knew about it. So, uh, you know, it just happened. It happened outdoors straight away. No complications, feeding already, up and running about. Um, so, yeah, we couldn't have asked for it to happen any better. And uh, as you can see, uh, laying, laying down on the fence line now with mum, uh, again, enjoying the sunshine and, uh, and living a fantastic life. Um, so it's been lovely bringing you an update uh, on, on our new little uh, career, our new little llama. Uh, it couldn't have gone any better, born out here in the lovely paddocks at Cannon Hall Farm. Great sunshine, uh, a little bit of a surprise, but doing really, really well. So thanks for joining us and uh, thanks from my mates as well. And hope to see you all again soon. So uh, Farmer Darrell and me llamas, Cannon Hall Farm.